This is the experimental setup for jaw crusher. This is the motor and this wheel like structure is called flywheel which rotates in a circular motion and moves the jaw. One jaw moves and the other is fixed which crushes the feed and this feed is then collected in a tray at the bottom. The experiment starts with feed analysis. We make the feed by crushing a few bricks manually and then taking 1 kg of feed. We then perform screen analysis of the feed as shown. This sieve shaker is made to work for a few minutes and then we move on to the next process. After using the sieve shaker, the mass retained on each screen is measured and noted to observe the average particle diameter of the feed. As seen in the video, sometimes particle gets stuck inside the screen which affects its effectiveness and we may get errors sometimes. The diameter of larger particles is measured by a thread and average particle diameter for such particles is calculated. Moving on to the experiment, we switch the crusher on and add the feed in it. We note the time taken to add the feed to calculate mass flow rate and meanwhile measure the blinks and power rating on the meter. Here we can see that one of the jaws is fixed and the other is moving which helps in crushing the feed which is then collected in the tray at the bottom. After switching the crusher off, we perform product analysis. Draw the observation table for feed and product analysis and calculate sorter mean dia for both. After calculating, proceed to calculation. As we know the values of power and mass flow rate, apply these values in the formulas for Rittinger's law, Kick's law and Bond's law to calculate Kick's constant, Bond constant and Rittinger's constant. Plot the graph for product and